All right, guys, welcome back to Rico's Aquariums. We're right here at Aquatica. It's my one of my local LFS, one of my favorite LFSs to come to. Today we came here to look at some fish, get some fish, and um, see what we can find. Are you listening? Damn. trusty neck. Well guys, welcome back. Obviously, it's a big day. Went and got some fish. What happened is my fish order never got made. Um, got to it too late. Obviously, with the holidays, it's going to be hard to get. So, what I did do is took a lot of out of their inventory that they already had. Fish that's been there for a little while, doing great eating. And I know some of you guys are wondering what I'm going to do with these fish. Guess what? I'm popping and dropping. So we got a Christmas wrasse. For you guys that didn't know, my other Christmas wrasse didn't make it. So I did get a lot of baby stuff. There's the first one. McCoskers. McCoskers wrasse. What do we have here? We have a fairy wrasse, another fairy wrasse. Pop and drop. And this is Melanotis wrasse. Then he jumped, and he's there. You guys are probably going to love it. It's another fairy, uh, fairy wrasse. Quite a few fairy wrasses. Now what do we got left? And another fairy wrasse. Look at these guys. We got movement in the tank. Finally. This is awesome. So, I wasn't, but they're just too sensitive. So, how do you pronounce this? A fancy. That's what I'm thinking. So, I don't. Avancy, Avancy. Um, correct me in the comment section down below if I'm not saying this right. Avancy, Avancy. A V A N or E V A N S I. Antheus. That's right, guys. Ended up grabbing Antheus. I wasn't going to do anything like that, to be 100% honest. But at the end of the day, I really was like, how am I going to stock this tank? Well, one way is to get a bunch of Antheus. Look at these guys. Schooling fish. They are beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Here's my sick baby. And I got orange antheus. Now I'll be honest, everybody knows antheuses are very colorful. And, you know, I'm kind of hard on them because they just don't do nothing for me. They are colorful, they do school, that is a plus to that. And with this system, why not? Why not? Well, 
Look at that. Here are all the beauties that we ended up getting. They're all doing great. They're all loving their environment. They're exploring. Everybody's getting along. Everybody's peaceful. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Look how much color they actually bring. You know, and I'm not a big fan of fish that really aren't part of the workforce. But I do have to consider the size of this aquarium. And I really want to get a good bio load in here. And I'm going to have to balance this system out. It's going to be a lot of work to balancing. Some of you guys are probably wondering what am I talking about. Well, the fact is that this right now will probably end up being an ultra low nutrient system. Unless I really stock the heck out of this tank. But not too much where now I'll have a higher nutrients. You know, I want to be somewhere right in the middle. But right now that's not about that. That's about these babies here. Looking good. Look at this. What do you guys think? I want to know down in the comment section down below. Have you guys kept these guys? Uh, what's your what's your take on my choice of fish as of right now? Keep in mind, I don't have everything that I wanted for the uh, uh, the initial load, and Antheus was not part of this. But we have 11 of them now, so they are now. Not to be funny, but look at this aquarium. Look how empty. I mean, we got movement. But they look like little specks on the radar for this system. Sorry, you got the dog barking. But anyway, I'm just looking here, man. It's really crazy. This is really crazy. I can't believe it. Just like a little blimp, for real. Like, just little specks. When I stand back, like I am now, I mean, yeah, looks good. It's going to get better, obviously. we still got a lot more fish to put in this system. A lot more. It was really cool just to watch these guys just stay out. They're really not timid or anything. Not at all. So what do you guys think? How many fish you guys think total? Oh, look, 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 real close. Oh, he swam out. They're finding little, little holes. Look. This guy's real, real friendly. This one, another fairy wrasse. Everybody's really friendly. They want to come up and greet and everything. Really healthy. Really, really healthy fish. Which is very important. Very important. No scratching, none of that, no itching, as you guys can see. They're just out hanging, cruising. Look at this one. Look at that. Now I must say, now that I have Antheus, I must say, they're really, 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 really pretty. But I know I probably wouldn't have them in a small system. That's just me. But they definitely are going to liven up the place. Let me get another angle. Let's see. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Look at these guys. We have our, our official new stocking to this fish uh this 
aquarium. Can't talk. I'm just trying to get you guys all the angles of how these fish are doing. This is crazy. I do have one more. If you made it this far in the video, I do have one more confession. Yep, I said it. I have one more confession. I'll show you here in a second. One more confession. Here, let's let's go down here to eye level. Like I said, these guys are not scared of anything. Yeah. Alright guys. Alright, one more confession. So, obviously, I cycled the aquarium. After the cycle, I actually been ghost feeding, but I also did one more thing. Let me show you. It's a little noisy in here, guys. But yes, after the cycle, these guys were from the last system. So I put the two yellow tangs, which I still have one more. Um, but these two are going in, the fox face and the man eater. Purple tang over here. Now... He wasn't playing nice because I put the little tang and they were been separated in different aquariums. So I had to separate him because he's the little pit bull. Look at him. He needs an attitude adjustment. So can't play nice. He's on timeout. So if you guys know, this is uh, holding tanks, extra coral, or fish just to get acclimated to the system for the other fish to... Um, get the scent before they actually go into the main display. Right now, these are just fish holding systems. Yes, it's all tied to the same aquarium. These fish I've had already for years. So, they're waiting to all go in. But, we will be putting in dividers as we get more tanks. I will be separating them. And all the tanks will be in these systems. So, you guys know. Now that you guys seen that, we do have fish over here, uh, Danzels, my clowns, and we have, um, I want to say a mimic tang as well. He's, he's an old guy as well. They will be making it over here at some point. Uh, my hippo tangs over here, my uh, Lamarck's angels are over here. I am thinking about some Bellis angels as well. Do you guys think I should get a trio of Bellis Angels as well? And I don't know what else. So we're still working on the rest. You know, we'll figure it out. And I'll continue to make videos as I go and get your guys' opinion. I still have my Hawaiian, Hawaiian, Hawaii Pink Stripe uh, Rass in this system as well. He'll be last. Two, two, three six-line Rasses in this system. Uh, one of those will be moved over to the main system. Maybe, maybe not. Um, don't know yet. But there's still quite a few fish that's in these systems. So if you guys like saltwater aquariums and want to follow uh, the beast build, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video.